Welcome to Demailer Backup 3.0. Demailer Backup is one of the easiest and most versatile local and online backup software available today. If you don't have a copy and you'd like to get one, you can go to this web address shown at the bottom of the page here. Some of the key features available in Demailer Backup include continuous and automatic live backup, full PC and Mac cross compatibility, no PC installation required and one click restore, the fully integrated online backup service and netbook support. Now to begin the installation we need to accept the end user license agreement and click next. Once arriving at the second screen you'll see the ability to change your profile name and the option of setting a password. For this exercise we're not going to set a password. Also we see the automatic and custom options. With automatic, the mailer backup will take the default folders within your profile. Notably, my documents, pictures, videos, music and the desktop folders. Also, ticked by default, the Dmailer backup manager will be installed. This is a good idea to ensure your backup will be launched every time you use your computer. For this exercise, we're going to be using the automatic so we can click next. Okay so now we arrive at the create your online account screen um, and what this will effectively do is store your most important data on one of the mailers storage servers um, for the highest possible protection uh, in case you lose your drive or something like that. Now if you have an account um, already you can sign in uh, if you're upgrading versions. If you don't oh, we're going to create one now so we need to add our email address and our password. Accept the license agreement and create the account. Okay, so we can see here the account has been successfully created. Um, now by default, as mentioned earlier, uh, all your data from your My Documents, My Pictures, My Video and My Music folder um, will be backed up um, online to the storage account. Now some of you may not want this uh, because uh, you, you're du duplicating your backup so a common method is to back up all your data locally uh, and backing up your most important files uh, to the online storage account. So the way we do that is by clicking the advanced settings here and from here we just select uh, the most important files that we want backed up. So for me that's going to be my pictures folder um, and as well we can choose the file types that will be backed up. All these files are fine for me but we could say remove uh, videos. Over on the online settings tab uh, we have some additional uh, settings. First of all we can uh, log out of our account or access our online uh, storage account. Um, as well we can see the available space and we can add some filters Okay, so now we need to just click apply and next and away the backup is, is launched. Once the backup is complete we will see the summary page here. Now what we can see here is all the files that are being backed up locally and online by toggling between these two buttons. Okay, and with these files that are being backed up we can see uh, the status of them uh, the file, to, what the file is, and the date and the location. This is particularly interesting with uh, online backup because we can see how far we are, what files have been backed up and things like that. Also to see more accurately under the online backup tab, from here we'll see some further options. First of all we can see the status of our online backup. We can see that it's complete here uh, with the progress bar. As well, we can upgrade the amount of storage space we have within our online storage account. We can go online to access our online files and we can access our advanced settings. Now, these advanced settings are exactly the same as the advanced settings we saw during the configuration process earlier in the video. Um, so from here, we're going to access our online files. From here you can access, download and share your files with your friends by either searching for your files or browsing the directory structure. If you have any further questions about the mailer backup, please visit the address at the bottom of the page here. 
I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks for watching.